Hello my soccer universe. A video that I didn't think I will make that soon to be honest. It is a what to watch and we're actually talking about action on the field. The Bundesliga. I dressed up for the occasion in what I think is probably my nicest Bundesliga jersey, Hertha. From the 97-98 season. To me, if you ask me, this is an absolute beauty. Um, I wish that Hertha would go to the look, back to look like that. But yeah. We'll talk about Hertha in a little bit. Um, as I said, we will see some action, but it's a little bit bittersweet because we all know it's not going to be the real thing. Uh, yes, games will be played. Yes, I will be at least watching Saturday afternoon. Um, however, there will be no spectators, which kind of a little bit devalues the whole thing. So, you know, you don't get the real thing, but yeah, it's good to get some action. Uh, will we get used to it? The product, I think, will... The games could be really good. We have to see how, how, how the product will will be. It will also be a little bit weird with all the um, regulations that they have to go through. You know, the teams have to enter the field one after the other. There is no hugging after a goal, only elbow or with the legs a little bit. It's gonna look weird and I'm not sure how teams will respond to that um i will also yeah let's go straight to the bundesliga um and we'll talk about all the other leagues um then in the other when we can we expect back i think what to watch and looking forward what could we watch i think before we go there um i want to look at where we stand in the bundesliga we have the following table Bayern 4 points with 55 ahead of Dortmund and they have 25 games played, I uh, mean 9 games left. Uh, Dortmund is only 1 point ahead of Leipzig and Gladbach is 1 point behind Leipzig, so Gladbach is 6 points behind Bayern and you probably can say this is maybe add Leverkusen to it with 47 points. Uh, eight points behind. This is the top five. This will be the top teams and maybe one of those four behind Bayern could challenge Bayern, but as, as we will see, sure, shortly Bayern are still uh, big favorites. Then uh, with quite a respectable uh, distance already is Schalke, then followed by Wolfsburg, Freiburg uh, and Hoffenheim, which is kind of the next uh, pack of teams and then uh, we're already entering a little bit the relegation zone but not quite those are teams that could get in trouble but are unlikely to get in trouble and this is everyone from Köln, uh, Union, Frankfurt, Hertha, Augsburg and Mainz. Mainz has a four point cushion to Düsseldorf who is the first team in the relegation spots. We also have then our uh, relegation playoff spot and then the two in the relegation zone are Werder and Paderborn who really do not look good. I also thought it might be a good idea to look at the odds from um, 538 to give you a feeling what this in the table means. Uh, we have Bayern 88% winning the league uh, with four points ahead being the clearly the best team in the league even if it is now, we know there's not that much home field advantage and so on. I think it's all points to its Bayern. Leipzig, a bit surprising to me, but I think makes some sense, is um, the second f favorite, but only 7% to win the league, but near certainty to qualify for the Champions League, as is for Dortmund, who have slightly less chances uh, there. Leverkusen and Gladbach, that's a toss-up for the Champions League spot. Uh, I got to be said, but uh, 5.30 doesn't give them a chance for in the title race. And you see, as I said, those five, if you look at uh, the distribution of the positions, those are the ones that will be in the top five. And everything else is then going to its rele relegation. Schalke and Wolfsburg, Hoffenheim look good to kind of not get in, in, into trouble, similar to Köln. And when we look now to its re relegation, uh, 530 says Augsburg is a 4% chance, Hertha 5% chance, uh, Mainz a 12% chance to get relegated. So those are kind of the teams that, yeah, maybe they go to get in the relegation playoff spots. Uh, Dusseldorf already 48% chance. So they look endangered. And of course, Werder with 88, uh, no, 68% and Paderborn with 91% are in huge danger of being relegated. For Werder, I would be really sorry uh, personally. So let's see what games do we have in the Bundesliga. Uh, the big one by name and it's such a shame that this is not played 
uh, in front of full house is Dortmund against Schalke. We don't need to talk much about it. Augsburg, Wolfsburg at the same time, Düsseldorf, Paderborn, Hoffheim, Hertha, um, and Leipzig, Freiburg. I think Leipzig, Freiburg is a sleeper because Freiburg, Freiburg has been nasty a little bit with Leipzig, Leipzig. So that could be an interesting one. Many point to Frankfurt against Gladbach. That could be the that's the evening game. That this could be the most fun game. Note also that although Werder and Frankfurt have a game in hand, they are not playing that because Werder said they want to have a bit more preparation time which is also reflecting the schedule because Werder plays at home to Leverkusen on Monday in what actually looks quite like a must win already but uh, first on Sunday Köln plays Mainz and then Union against Bayern yes it's an away trip for Bayern um, I expect Bayern to win this quite comfortably now the Bundesliga is not the only league that's playing yes there's the K-League no I'm talking about the second Bundesliga and um, let's look how things are there at first. In the table we have Bielefeld uh, leading six points clear of Stuttgart and one point ahead of Hamburg. And then there's Heidenheim, Greuterfurt, Darmstadt, Kiel, Aue. If I look at it, yeah, I think Aue is maybe the last one where I say they could probably get in, in there with uh, 10 points behind Hamburg. Um, and if I look at the schedule there, uh, we have already the trouble with Dresden. The, they had some uh, COVID cases and then needed to uh, be um, put in quarantine. So Dresden is already not playing and that's kind of, it's kind of this specter looming above the league. But when I look now at the top teams, Bielefeld is playing against Osnabrück, um, which yeah should should be a doable game. Stuttgart also an away game at Wehen. Wehen is uh, far far down, so that's actually a must win for Stuttgart. And Hamburger Kreuter Fürth, yeah, Kreuter Fürth is up there, so that's probably the game of the weekend. Name wise, St. Pauli and Nuremberg is good, but the, the both teams are kind of low in the table. Uh, just to give you an idea about the sec second Bundesliga, how things are standing, and we're looking only at uh, promotion here. Uh, Bielefeld is nearly cer near certainly promoted. Stuttgart also looks strong with 70%. And then Hamburg will play a playoff against Düsseldorf. Um, Personally, I really would like Hamburg and Stuttgart to get promoted. Those are teams that belong up there. And if I look there, uh, of course, Nuremberg should also be up there. Probably Dresden and Karlsruhe as well, but you know, they are nowhere near. So that's about Germany, uh, what we have this weekend. But there's not only Germany. Let's see when other leagues uh, might start. Uh, Next weekend we have the, the Czech and uh, uh, action in Czech, uh, the Czech Republic, and in Hungary will start up. Uh, in Hungary it is the cup in the Czech um, Republic uh, will already be the league. Uh, on the twenty eighth, Denmark starts with a makeup game, and then um, uh, they finish the league on the seventh of June. Poland starts on the 29th um, as well, um, so they have uh, made this uh, a long time ago. Austria will also start on the 29th with the cup final and then on the 2nd of June they start with the league. The news is unfortunately I have to say that Lusk um, violated the um, restrictions on individual, you know, the, you only can have training sessions in small groups last allowed one where the two teams play a game against each other it's a huge scandal last said yeah we messed up uh, we have very rigid testing so there was no spread of the virus but i know the image is not good blah 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 blah. the whole league is now against lusk and they try to get a point deduction for lusk which i find is not the right thing i think it should be i think a fine is probably appropriate there but you know i'm a lusk fan so what am I uh, to say? So yeah, so Austria is there. Uh, Croatia uh, starts with Cup on the 30th of uh, May already and then they... Um, no, is it? Uh, yeah, there. Uh, Portugal decided to go a little bit later. They could have started already also for a uh, 30th of May or around that, that time, but on the 4th of June uh, the uh, Liga Nosh will start. Turkey also confirmed that on the 12th of June they will start and now we get to the big leagues. Um, Spain is pushing for 12th of June also to start up again La Liga uh, and Serie A a day later. Will we see it? 
they don't have any okay from the government. Uh, the Premier League is eyeing the 18th, 19th uh, of June to start again. Again, we don't know anything about it. We don't know anything about Belgium. I know Belgium called the league or, or already and they went a little bit back because of UEFA's restriction. But um, things are pointing that they might go more the Dutch-French route where everything is done. The French, of course, trying to, especially Jean-Michel Olas, the Lyon president, really trying to lobby that it should continue. And yeah, uh, so we don't know. Belgium and Switzerland will make a vote on the 29th whether they will continue. So this is when we can expect certain links to come back. So it will be interesting to see that. Uh, also, Russia, I see, uh, is trying to come back on the 21st or 28th of June. But again, it's open. All remains to be seen. Feel me if you have any more information on any of these leaks. This is what I could find today. Unfortunately, I cannot find a nice graphic, so you have to take uh, this how I'm saying it. Again, I'm cautiously excited about being able to watch some soccer tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.